All right, Up of the Birds, part three. Uh, this is where the song starts to kick in. We just finished uh, Up with the Birds. Um, this is the guitar part, but it sounds good on piano too. It's kind of this little pull off thing. Uh, it's like D, so it's your right hand. D, C sharp, A. And it's like. I'm uh, the left hand first. Left hand is just playing D octaves. Uh, pretty simple. Uh, so I'll focus on the right hand. So after you put the D in the C sharp and A, you're going to play A, D, F sharp with D. So. Second chord, B, D, G. Like that, so. And all you're doing is transitioning and you're playing that twice. So to start off. I think it was three times. So it's two, three. The fourth time, move the F sharp down to an E. And it comes in with might have to go. Might have to go, all you're doing, it's the same exact chord that you were just playing, so. Might have to go. Where they don't, so now I'll just do the right hand and left hand after. So I might have to go, A, D, F sharp, go, where they don't, F sharp, B, E. Um, that's what the She Music book says, you can just move this the D and the A after this B and E, but it sounds better to go down. And you go back and forth between those two chords twice. Left hand, you're playing D octaves, and then you're playing B octaves. So together with the right hand, it would sound like this. So. play the chord you played before, it, it looks similar, it's a G, right hand, G, B, D, F sharp, and then you're going to move the F sharp down to an E, move it back up to an F sharp, back down to an E, so that's all it is, it's the same exact chord, one's with an F sharp, one's with the E, F sharp, E, left hand, you're playing G octaves. Just so I don't have to move the camera every time, it'd be easier just to see that. So, G octaves. So, know my name, float all over the world just to see her again. Repeat that same thing again, and I won't. That's where you move into that. So that's that whole part. It's actually pretty simple. It's just like three chords. Um, left hand, all's left hand. It's just D, B, and then G. Um, last chord, you stay on G. Just float all over the world just to see her again. That's all you're doing is switching between those two notes. Even though my armor might rust in the rain, simple plot. This is the best part. When it comes into a simple plot, the only thing that changes is your G moves down to an E.
this right hand stays exactly the same. So, so even though my armor might rust in the rain, a simple plot, right hand stays the same. Left hand, you're just going to move it down. Uh, this, you're going to play this kind of thing with your uh, left hand. Uh, you can do octaves, but it sounds better with just one note. It's just E and then F sharp. So it's like this. You play it three times, and then the third time you move up to a G. So it's not like this. So a simple plot. But I know one day, good things. And you move up to a G, the only thing that changes in your right hand is you drop the E, and you're just playing G, B, E. So focusing on the right hand while playing the left hand. So. Um, you can hit the F sharp going down, but you don't have to. This part's fun. So right hand, now you're gonna switch to a, it's an A, F sharp, D, right hand. And you play that the whole time. Left hand, you're gonna move up, and this is the part you hear in the background, you're gonna play D. No octaves, just the single notes. D, F sharp, B, C sharp. And play it again. D, F sharp, B, C sharp. So while playing that with that chord, it would sound like this. And then you repeat that same exact thing again. Same chord, same everything. Playing the left hand by itself, it's kind of like kind of like bouncing a little bit. So you play that twice, and the second time. When he comes in for like t uh, 10 seconds and does the, I'm not even going to attempt to do it, but the, oh yeah, that part, um, and it's. Uh, it's pretty simple. Left hand, you're just playing G octave. I play octaves, but you don't have to do G. Down to F sharp, back up to G, up to A, back to G sharp, uh, G, and then repeat it again. So it's like. Move up to D. So that's, that's all that is. Pretty simple. Right hand, a little bit more complicated, but not. It's really just chords, and it's not moving too far out of reach. Uh, so you're gonna start with. Uh, so you just did the. D, G, and B when you play G in your left hand. So you're playing D, G, and B. Keep the D, move the G and B, move the uh, G down to an F sharp, B down to an A. So that's that. Then you go back up to that first chord. All there's is three chords. So it's left hand, you're going to move up to an E, A, C sharp. Then you go back down, so slowly. Then when you hit the D octave, you're going to finish with A, 
F sharp. That chord's in the song quite a bit. And that's that part, and then it's overlapped with what is really, really beautiful. And I'll teach you that in a minute. But just to go over that part again. Slowly, it's just. So right here alone would just be. All right, so that's that part. Um, I'm going to, I really don't think I need to go over that again like before on the other parts. Uh, it's just pretty simple chords. Like I said, you can pause it when you need to and uh, learn it from that. But it's pretty simple. Um, this part up here, it's, it seems harder than it is. It's, it's really just trying to memorize it, memorization. Um, uh, it's, re it's repetitive is what it is, but it, uh, it's in a different order at some point. So... I can go over the whole thing again at the end of the video, I'll do that. But for now, I want to teach this part. You're going to be up here. I play with one hand, but you want to play with two hands, that's, that's fine. Alright, so you're going to start off with F sharp. Do this, so there's no uh, lines on the keyboard. That actually might have made it worse. Yeah, okay. Just, just ignore the lines from the blinds. Alright, so you're going to play F sharp. D, A, D. I'm gonna break this down at one part at a time until you have that part down, cause it it does repeat, but it's in different order. So that's that first part. So get that good, and you'll be all set. Uh, I kind of play like this, so it's like spread my hands out, thumb up, thumb on this D, pinky on this D. Uh, middle finger on the A, F sharp would be the po uh, pointer finger. So it's so F sharp, D, A, D. Next, you're going to play F sharp, B, D, B, and then A, D, A. So slowly. Now this time you're already down here, you're not going to go back up. You're going to play F sharp, A, D, and then D up here. Alright, so from the beginning, so... F sharp, A, D, A, uh, D, up here, so... Going up a whole octave. Then you're gonna play this A, D, F sharp, B. So. B, D, B, A. And that is the whole first first half, and it repeats in a little bit different order. So from the beginning, starting over fresh. F sharp, A, D, up to this D. D, F sharp, B, 
B D B A. That's that. So play a little bit faster so you can can hear it. Now you're gonna play. Uh, you're gonna play the first thing you play, but instead of playing A, you're gonna play F sharp. So it's F sharp, D, F sharp, D. So. So the same thing, F sharp, B, D, B, A, D, A. So. Then finally, the same exact thing you played before. F sharp, A, D, D. A, D, F sharp, B. That ends it. So there is a couple of repetitive things in there you'll notice once you get it, but you need to, you uh, gotta go back and learn each piece at a time. I say there's seven, six different, five different parts maybe? So, once again, just to clarify, just to do it slowly, I'll do it. Um, because it is a bit confusing. It took me a while to get it too, so. That's that, so watch it over and over slowly and uh, practice each part at a time. Um, also, I want to point out, if your piano has a uh, pitch thing, uh, if you listen closely at the end of the song, it kind of sounds like the pitch is being screwed with, and it sounds pretty good when you play it, like at the end, so. So, uh, for example. Uh, if you listen closely, it kind of sounds like that, so that's pretty cool. Uh, neat, neat effect. Um, all right, so that's the whole lesson. Um, but I am gonna do. I'm gonna go over everything I just went through. Um, not the whole song, but just this part, just to uh, kind of play with it. Um, and I'm just gonna play it kind of at full speed, just so you can kind of hear it. All right, so.
that last part shouldn't, it shouldn't be, it's not too confusing once you get it. Um, it's, like I said, it's repetitive. Um, you're just trying to get it down at, to one point. With this last part, you've already played. Well, that's that. Um, it's actually a lot easier to teach than I thought it would be. Um, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Like I said, keep pra practicing it uh, part by part, right hand and left hand, and both together slowly, and then eventually you'll have it. Uh, don't give up. I've seen a lot of, uh, or I've know some people who uh, have said to me, um, talked to me, and said. I learned the main, the main melody, the main, the main riff, and then I give up. But you can't give up. You gotta, you gotta push. You gotta push yourself, and you'll, you'll get it. Well, that's that. Um, last song on Miles Alto. Great, uh, great ending. To an, uh, great album. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the positive comments and everything. I appreciate it. And uh, practice.